Hi everyone, today is Saturday and we are going to be adopting two new girls today so that's really exciting and there's loads of other exciting things going on today so today should be quite a good day but it's going to be very busy so I've got quite a lot going on and obviously the main thing is getting the new guinea pigs and we are going shortly, I've just got their carrier right here and it actually looks really weird but I think it's a really cool design and we got this from Jolly's yesterday so this is a cat carrier and we got it for the guinea pigs and Jasper and Jasper is our cat for those of you who don't know so um, I think it's really cool it comes with like these food bowls on the inside and it's all plastic so it's easy to clean and everything um, it comes with these like food bowls on the inside which I think is really good I'm not sure um, if it would be any good for guinea pigs but I think it is quite a good design for cats especially if you're going on a long journey so I think that's really cool and you can actually get the bowls out without having to open the door and I'll try and do that now I'm not quite sure how you do it but I think like you pull this down and then the balls come out like that. I think it's really cool. Um, so that's the carrier which we have, and I have put a blanket in the bottom just so they don't like slide around in the car or anything. Um, so I've just put that in there. So that is the carrier we have. So now I will show you the cage, and all the guinea pigs will have a two by four. Um, so I kind of split it into three sections. Miffy is in her hay pile, bless her. She's really shy because um, Pudsy is in the house. I actually haven't updated you yet, but Pudsy is doing fine. His operation went well, so it's just about um, getting his digestive system working again and just helping him recover. So he's in the house at the moment and he is doing fine. So hopefully he'll recover quickly. So, Miffy is on her own at the moment, but we are picking the two girls up soon, so she won't be on her own for long. And I do think she is a little bit scared because everything's changed around again, and she's probably quite confused. But she will get used to it soon, and I'm sure she'll be happier when the other guinea pigs are here. So, the two new girls are going to go here. We're trying to bond Miffy with the two girls. Um, and then if they seem to be getting along we will um, give them all of this space so they will have a 4x4 if they get along but if they don't get along um, at the start we're just going to leave them in two separate cages um, until they do seem to get along and if they really really hate each other then we have the option to put them with the other group and that will be Bradley's herd so there are ways around it if it doesn't work out um, but ideally we want them to all get along in here. So we have just got back from KV Corner and I can't believe how fast they have settled in and they've only been in this cage for like 10 minutes and already they seem to be really calm and actually they seem to be happy alongside Miffy and I was a bit worried about the mum which is that one there being a bit protective because she has a baby and that's her baby so um, I was a bit worried she'd be a bit protective over her but she's been so far I mean I've only had them in here for like 10 minutes so um, I don't know what um, they will be like in the next few days but already they seem to be totally happy with Miffy and I just can't believe like they're already eating and running around and I have just seen them running around all over and they seem really settled which is really great and as you can see mum is sat quite close to Miffy so that's really good to see and Miffy's quite happily eating there. So you're probably wondering about names, we have come up with two names and I think these are the ones we are going to keep. Um, so for mum we decided on Roxy and um, that was the name she had at the rescue and we thought it was a really sweet name and I really liked it 
So we decided to keep that name and call her Roxy. And then we could not decide what to call you and go on. We had loads of ideas but we just couldn't pick one name so I made a post on Instagram asking you guys um, what you think we should call her and I got so many suggestions and you really helped me um, with deciding a name and you all came up with really great names but I did decide on one of them and I think a few of you suggested it so I will put your names on the screen now if you suggested that name um, but the name we decided to go with was Hazel and we just thought that suited her really well and we thought that it was a really nice name so you can't actually see her now um, because she's in the hay pile but that's the name we have decided um, to call her. So it's not long now until these girls can live with Bramley and I am really happy about that because he has been on his own for so long and he really needs the company and he is next to them so he does have company but it's just not the same as living with them. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to that and as I said they will be getting introduced to each other during the Easter holidays and I think if we have a nice day they will go outside on the grass. And now Bramley's gone to sleep in his hay. So now for the other exciting news and I'm really really happy about this and I can't wait to tell you. So a few months ago I sent in a picture to the guinea pig magazine of Teddy who was my guinea pig and sadly he had to be put to sleep a few months after I sent in the picture. Um, but anyway I sent in this picture and um, the guinea pig magazine replied saying that he, um, the picture had been shortlisted to the top three. So then I was kind of just waiting, hoping um, that he would be on the front cover and I had no idea because um, I think they keep it a surprise. And then just a few days ago someone sent me a direct message asking whether or not this was my guinea pig because they, I think they saw um, the picture on the Facebook page and they thought it was my guinea pig so they sent me a picture of it and it was. So um, this is a picture of Teddy and he's on the front of the guinea pig magazine which I am really really happy about and I honestly didn't think that he would be on the front cover. I just thought that one of the other guinea pigs um, was going to be on it but I'm just really really happy and Although Teddy is no longer with us, I just think this is like a lovely tribute to him. So that is the front cover and then on the inside um, there is the interview. So if your guinea pig gets to be on the front cover of the guinea pig magazine, you get an interview sent by email and then it goes inside. So here is the interview and then I also sent a picture of the old setup that we had um, and they actually put that in there. So, um, Teddy and Badger used to live there, um, Bramley used to live in that back cage and then Pudsey lived at the front. So, yeah, that just made me so super happy and I'm really, really glad that he got to be in the magazine and I just think it's a lovely tribute um, after he passed. I think it's just really nice that he got to be on the front. So, if you're wondering where you can get this from, they sell it in Pets at Home. Um, they also sell it in the Pet Hut and I think you can get it online as well so there are a few places that you can get it from if you're wanting to buy it and the magazine is £4. So I have just cleaned out the gerbils tank and I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. It did take me a long time but I think it was worth it. So on this side they have loads and loads of bedding and I just use wood shavings and Megazorb and then I mix the two beddings together because I find that when you mix two beddings together it holds the tunnels much better. Um, across the bottom they have loads and loads of hay 
and then they have loads of boxes which they can dig up and chew. So that's what their digging area is like. They're all over here at the moment. <laughs> and then they have their partition which just like separates the two areas. And they have this hanging wooden bridge so they can get from one side to another. And over there is a sand bath. They have this um, wooden climbing shelf thing and then their wheel. So that's what their tank looks like and I hope they like it because it did take me ages to put together. But they seem to be enjoying digging at the moment. And I actually made so much mess whilst cleaning them out because I use so many different things when I'm cleaning out their tank and it just makes loads and loads of mess. So I've got to tidy all that up now um, and then I've got to feed the guinea pigs. Okay, so I think the guinea pigs are hungry. Are you hungry guys? Are you hungry? Who should we feed first? I'll feed Miffy first. There you go Miffy. There you go. She's hiding now. <laughs> Now I'll feed the two new girls. There you go, darlings. There you go. Now I will feed Bramley. There you go. And now I'll feed the girls. Here you go, girls. Oh, there you are. So I'm just going to tell you a bit about the girl's story because I didn't really tell you much before about it. So Roxy was living in really bad conditions before she came to the rescue. She had no hay at all and she was living in an outdoor um, cage or hutch without any shelter or anything. So she was living in really bad conditions and Hay is essential in guinea pigs, it makes up around 80% of their diet, so to not have any hay is just really bad. She came into the rescue and she was pregnant because she had been living with her brother, so that really wasn't good because obviously that meant a lot of inbreeding had happened. So I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing the new girls and I'm sure you will be seeing a lot more of them in future videos. So I will see you guys next time.